Mitch, why don't we begin with the president and the first lady contracting COVID-19? As is often the case with this president, the news arrives via Twitter, a tweet at about 1 a.m. on Friday from President Trump saying that he and the first lady had tested positive for COVID-19. He says in that tweet that we will begin our quarantine and recovery process immediately. And he says we will get through this in all caps together, exclamation point. Meanwhile, the first lady also tweeting out that they both feel good. And uh, immediately after uh, seeing that tweet go out, you started seeing the wishes for a speedy recovery coming from friend and foe. Even uh, TV host Rachel Maddow, no fan of President Trump, uh, tweets out, God bless the president and the first lady and urging people to pray for the president. A couple of interesting things about this to me. We know that President Trump lives and thrives on in-person appearances and rallies. So to the extent that he's going to have to step back from that because of this quarantine process, it's going to be interesting to see how that affects him in this final month before the election. Another thing that's interesting about this is that many people who could track COVID never really do show signs of the serious sickness that has caused so much concern. The president and first lady say they're feeling good. It'll be interesting to see whether that remains the case throughout the time that they are quarantining and recovering.